Welcome, combatants. So, Shujinku turned on everybody. Is there a chance Dimashi will succeed this time? So, this is your boy, Future Boy. Do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me to Future for more content. So, after completing obviously Kong Lao's arcade and going through to the ending, we get to witness that yes, when he speaks in the dialogue about training Shujinku, and we thought, was it the people who Ed Boon was kept saying who dis and stuff like that? We were wrong, as it does show Shujinku at the end, which you're looking right now. But the difference is this is that Kung Lao takes on Shujinku as his apprentice and starts teaching him. But with Kung Lao's ego and how he is, it kind of builds him up. And Shujinku literally still has the same powers. He has the same powers of taking other abilities and using them against people. And they even say that he could be the greatest champion. But it's to all avail, as it seems that he turns on all of them, yes. Shujinku actually turns on them and tries to fight all of them because he has the power. Then it gave me the thought, could it be possible that this time round, Damashi Onaga, if he should have a smaller form and actually utilize Damashi, will he be able to corrupt Shujinku much more easier this time? Because the other one was much more humble in the past timeline in Deception. But this one, he was only built up with Kung Lao's um, ego and everything. But in the end of things, when Liu Kang and them like defeat him, they take away his memory so he doesn't know how to access his powers. And this time around, he's taught by Raiden and Kung Lao to have that compassion, but also that strength and awareness of how good he can be. So he's evenly balanced. But obviously the one thing is that Shang Tsung already tried to be Damashi because he knew what Damashi meant and symbolised and he is the, the, the evil master of lies and it was Onaga so he pretended to be Kronika to be this version's Damashi as of now but the real Damashi could still show up now I'm not saying that it might do but if it does that would be something interesting to see how easily Shujinku is changed how easily Damashi could promise him things of his memory of who he was the power that he had and tell him what Liu Kang and them lot did which would enrage him and make him actually go onto the side of Onaga even easier so this opens a whole big door of him possibly maybe even being the one that Damashi calls to and connects to and feels like he can utilize his power to get him free and conquer now we know Reiko is already going after Onaga for General Shao but what if Shujinku is the one that actually does this what if Deception is the next game because then if so that would mean that Onaga didn't need anyone else he had Shujinku's power so instead of Shujinku's power destroying Onaga it's used to help him and win that is something that we could use but what if there's someone else another benefactor what if instead Shinnok what if Shinnok is the one that actually utilizes um, Shujinku and utilize his power this time having him on his side with Quan Chi and everyone else could be something much more dominant and dangerous as he is the fallen elder god so obviously him utilizing someone like Shujinku who can take people's powers and everything would be a dominant force him Quan Chi and noob cyber or anyone else who's a, who's a loyal worshipper of the nether realm having shujinku on their sides could cause issues and problems going forward and how they've made shujinku kind of this unbalanced type person now where how obviously if he does this or does that he will turn on them completely and they are kind of worried that if he does get his memory back any villain could claim him and utilize him in that type of way and it would be something really interesting indeed because he was formidable to all three of them had to try and stop him so can you imagine what someone like Onago or Shina could possibly do with him in their grasp? So many things and so many things, people, that could happen for the future of Mortal Kombat. But let me know, what do you think of this? Are you guys also thinking that there's a possibility that that could happen? Would you like to see Shujinku go through something like that? And do you think Damashi will take him this time? But do like, subscribe. This is your boy, Future Boy. As always, stay frosty, peeps. Peace.